Hello everyone, my name is Marilyn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I will show you how to install Kali Linux on VirtualBox. This is pretty much the easiest straightforward way to do it. So my assumption right now is you already have VirtualBox pre-installed. If you don't, I'll post a video up later on to show you the process on how to install it. So here we go. Go to the Kali Linux offensive security page and Depending on your VirtualBox, whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit, you have to download the Kali Linux setup corresponding to that effect. So make sure you click on the Kali Linux VirtualBox images and not VMware images because you'll get errors. So my VirtualBox is 32-bit, so I'll click on that. And as you can see, it's a pretty large file, 2.9 GB, and takes quite a while to download. If you have a download manager, it's quite helpful so you can go ahead and post this video until that's done downloading make sure it's an OVA file then we can continue that and since I'm I have already pre-downloaded this I'll go ahead and cancel this one then we go back to our virtual manager virtual box manager and on tools click import so come right here and click on this icon, go to your downloads, that folder, and click on the setup, open. Once it's loaded, as you can see, just click on import. So this process takes quite a while, you have to be really patient. The importation process. So you can see it's saying 30 minutes, it's not really going to take 30 minutes, it'll take around 10 minutes. But I'm going to pause this video and we can resume when it's almost done as you can see it's been a few minutes and it's almost finishing downloading or rather importing so after it's imported it looks like this so go ahead and click on start it takes a while to set up or configure for the first time so you have to be patient with it just ignore this will pretty much configure itself you don't have to install or click on anything after importing So the official username or the default username given to Kali Dynax is root and the default password is T-O-O-R which is root backwards. So you can go ahead and import that. So after that you can see setup finished. everything yeah set up finished there you go no you have your partial you can go ahead and do whatever 
that's it thank you for watching like comment share subscribe and come back for more